What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a great new year. I know 2020 has been a difficult year and I just hope that 2021 treats everyone a little bit better than last year did. So because I have to do this in under five minutes, let's get right to the video. If there's one thing that's become more and more evident as I've gotten older, it's that time is our most valuable asset. As a professional wedding and product photographer, I'm constantly trying to find ways to remove wasted time from my workflow. Whether it be tools or techniques, whatever I can do to cut down the time it takes to edit a wedding or a session just adds so much more value to my life. And that's the value I wanna to bring to you guys today. The tool I'm gonna to talk to you about today is something I kinda of stumbled upon by accident. I had originally bought it for gaming and after doing some evaluating, I realized what a time suck that could be. And that's when this toy became a tool. Thanks to the Corsair Elite M65, my editing in Lightroom has drastically been improved and I wanna show you how you can do that in just under five minutes. Thank you for joining me for today's video and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit like and subscribe for more photography and videography related content and if you have a tool or tip that helps you speed up your workflow make sure to leave it in the comment section below now this isn't a sponsored video i genuinely find value in using this mouse to edit quickly and efficiently in lightroom with that said you don't necessarily need this mouse to be able to do what i'm about to show you as long as the mouse has mappable buttons, you'll be able to do this technique. I've even linked to a few mice with similar features in the description box below. So there are several tools and shortcut keys that I'm constantly using in Lightroom. Whether I'm cropping a photo or copying settings and presets, I'm constantly going back and forth between my mouse and keyboard to get work done. When I realized I could use the extra buttons on my mouse to store some of my most used shortcut keys, the light went on in my head. Using the Corsair IQ software, you can easily set your most used functions to the multiple buttons on your mouse. For instance, I'm constantly cropping and recomposing my images. So for me, it makes sense to have crop assigned to one of my buttons, as well as enter, so that when I'm finished cropping, I can click enter, all without having to take my hand off the mouse. To start creating a preset action, select the mouse in the IQ software, and then select actions. In this menu, you can see that I've already created a few presets, which are the ones that I use most. In order to create a new function, just click the plus sign, and down here, you're able to record the action. So for instance, if I wanted to create a function to undo something, I just click record, and then on my keyboard, hit control Z, and it would record the function, and then you hit stop record. That function can now be renamed to editing undo, and then what I like to do, like I have below, is name it the key that you're gonna assign it to, which is the DPI down button. And then from here, you just select DPI down, and I now have that function put on the DPI down button. So for instance, if I come to Lightroom and I change one of my settings here, I can hit that button and it will now undo all my features without having to touch the keyboard. All right, so I wanted to go over with you guys a few of the functions that I use in Lightroom that really just make my workflow a lot faster. The two most important tools that I have mapped to my mouse are the previous and pick tools. For me, when I'm going through wedding photos, I want to make sure that everything has a consistent look. So when I can go from one image to the next and just apply the previous preset that I have and then make minor adjustments to adjust for changing color temperature or exposure, it makes it easier to keep that consistent look. And then the pick tool allows me to flag this image as a pick and it now becomes a part of my final picks for this gallery as I'm going through and editing my photos. Another great tool that I feel has sped up my workflow is having crop now added to my mouse. So I click one of my buttons here and it allows me to just crop right from the mouse. And I also have enter selected so I can just hit the other button and it finalizes my crop. And the final tool that I have mapped to my mouse is the most important tool in any program I feel across any computer and that's the undo. So I'm able to just click a button and I have undo right at the tip of my fingers. So that's it. With just a few clicks of the mouse, you're able to bring some of your most used tools to the palm of your hand in Lightroom. I hope with this video I was able to offer some value and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.